Limb ischemia is a disease where the blood flow to the legs is restricted. It is particularly common in patients with diabetes or high blood pressure. In healthy tissues, blood normally flows inside a network of vessels, supplying oxygen and nutrients to the surrounding areas. However, if the blood vessels become too narrow or blocked, this starves the nearby tissues, and without oxygen, the muscle will start to die. This causes pain, difficulty walking, and sometimes even requires amputation. There are some medications available which can help, but unfortunately, most of the drug doesn't stay at the injury site, so these treatments don't work very well. To use our new drug capture system, we first inject a gel called HA into the injured area. This forms a stringy mesh-like network containing antibodies which act like a magnet ready to capture the drug as it passes by. With the drug capture system in place, we first inject a drug called IGF-1, which helps the cells to survive in the low oxygen environment. It travels through the bloodstream to the target site where it leaves the blood vessel and binds to the antibody. Over time, more and more of the IGF-1 builds up, helping to keep more cells alive. This will prevent the damage to the muscle tissue. The capture system is reloadable, meaning we can use it to deliver more than one drug. We inject a second medication called GCSF, which travels through the blood until it reaches the injury site, exits the blood vessel, and binds onto the antibody. GCSF encourages stem cells to move into the area and form new blood vessels, resupplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissue. This speeds up the regeneration of the patient's leg. 因为心血管疾病通常是一个比较慢性发生的过程，心心肌梗塞因为冠状动脉疾病或者是因为啊糖尿病引起的血管的硬化，血管的病变造成的下肢缺血，或者是中风。那这通常都是一个很长时间的过
。那循环到全身去之后，啊、呃，它一旦跑跑到那个啊、呃，我们之前打的这个抗体跟水胶的位置，它就会被抓下来，它就会被维持在啊、呃，我们要去治疗那个位置，所以它可以保护。那个受损的受损的组织，让它有比较好的恢复。所以，我们透过这样的一个技术平台，我们可以把不同的药物在不同的时间点，而且可以专一性的啊，把它带到我们去治疗的位置。这是这整个一个核心平台重要的呃的那个核心所在。